Dallas Cowboys select Chauncey Golston, defensive end, Iowa. Now, when we look at everything, yes, he's six foot four and a half, two hundred and sixty-nine pounds, power rush tweener in a sense. Nevertheless, he can get upfield. Not a lot of bend, but he can create that pressure for the Iowa team. He actually had five sacks last season, and the season before that, he occurred around three sacks, and then before that, three sacks. So. He can get to the quarterback using his bull rush and his power. They line him up inside as well as the out. But majority of the time, when you think about it and you look at his skill set, you would want him, especially his skill set, you want him on the edge. He does have some coverage skills. He had three interceptions in his career at Iowa. Nevertheless, let's look into his pass rushing abilities. He has strong strength, gets off the line pretty smoothly. Problem is with him a little bit, he's kind of have a high pad level. Nevertheless, he do have the ability to get upfield using his strength to get there. And you will see as we look at majority of the film here is, is his ability to create pressure. And he he's not the fastest of the fastest guys. However, he is one of the guys that can generate pressure and he can get off to the edge but without pain. Now watch how he's able to stop the run. That's one of the major uh, parts of his game. The ability to see the run, play, develop in the backfield, and to get there to pursue plays with great deed of leverage, get to the hole, and stop the runner from getting extra yards. As long as he sees the plays develop before him, he can get upfield. And he plays with, like I said, that leverage. Cutback lanes, all of that stuff. He's able to see it with his eyes and process it. Now, at times, you may see him slip a little bit. Watch how he disengage, hold, contain, and not allow the opposition to get more yards. That is what he brings to the table. A solid run defender. A guy that can stop the run. Now, <laughs> when we look at his overall abilities, watch how he get off the line right here. Block, get down, get to the next level there, and stopping the running it to get off to the edge. That's edge containment. That's sealing off of your edge so that the opposition is not able to get more yards. Seal off the edge and get there. As a edge guy, necessarily as a pass rushing guy, yeah, you want to be able to get a feel, but also as an edge guy, you want to be able to stop and seal that off. So he's able to do that on this particular play. And you will see that he knows how to set the edge pretty well and containment. Now, we're going to look up some of the other things on this film as far as his speed. Nevertheless, he, he get pressure here. He kind of dances and plays around with the opposition a little too much here. He kind of stands upright. Not a lot of bend. Not a lot of weaponry as it relates to his pass rush moves. So that's why you see him stood up on this particular play. It doesn't have a necessary chop that he can utilize those hands because he got big hands, big long length as well. But he's he got problems disengaging. So he kind of hands fight with this guy, and they have a long conversation. You will see that out of his game plan, or out of his game set or skill set. Now, when he overpowers you and he's able to win, you will see that the opposition love to hold him. And they, they got away with a hold on this play. And when you look at it, he he was trying to get off of his block there or get off of his release point there. And the guy was like, hey, I'm going to hold you for this one. <laughs> and he held him and he got away with a hold the opposition there. So we see that he is a little quick, just need to maintain a lower leverage. And he need to figure out ways to disengage a little bit better. Now he's able to use power move ripped and pull him off to the side to get the tackle here. Pull him off to the side and get the tackle. That's aggressive right there. But that move does not always work. And we'll show you some illustrations of that. But he's able to get off of his block there to make the tackle. And that's very important. You want your edge guy to be able to do that. Now here's ghosting right here in the inside and as the quarterback snapped the ball he gets off of his release here and what we're looking for is the burst but like i said he hand checks and he stays with a long conversations not a well mapped out plan of what he's going to do with his hands and he stands right up and that's on his scouting report 
getting off of his releases sometimes can be an issue or disengaging basically so i'm quite sure that those are things that they will work out with on him now creating pressure if he wins the release point he can get there but the problem is is sometimes he don't have that next level speed to capture or catch up with the runner this is a quarterback evading and, and look he just a little slow to the point there and those are some of the, the things that they pointed out on his scouting report or they dinged him on is the ability to get a feel it's his edge control again holding contain not rushing or pursuing down too quick we like seeing that keeping everything in front of him that is a plus right there he got to be able to stop the run and he does a great job at that now here's once again he didn't make the tackle but he slowed the actual guy down from hitting the b gap we like saying that especially out of ghosting he can shoot through the gap shoot through that gap right here gap control slows the opposition down sometimes you may not get there but the object of the game is to slow him down at least so watch how you shoot through the b gap you get there Put that paw on him, put that arm on him, slow him down just a little bit so that the runner is not able to get more yards than he wanted. So that is what I like to see out of Ghost. And he, he does have the mindset to continue to play and fight through, but just sometimes he have those little issues. Now, he won off of the release on here just quick. He's more up to stopping the run opposed to uh, creating pressure with his pass rush gets off of his guy use hands good on that one because he won off the release and i like seeing that he got stood up a little too tall on here one play you love it the second play you hate it <laughs> and i think that that's due to a fatigue factor i would like him more of a rotational guy but look how he stood up right here not able to get low hand fight hand fight too tall got to get a little lower on that pass rush there so those are things that he will have to work on and i'm quite sure when you draft a player they will not be the end result they still have to develop this is him in coverage now she did have three interceptions in his career so he is able to drop back follow trail and follow the tight end on intermediate and short routes so the underneath tight end he can do that so if you need somebody in that factor they can do that this is a play when you look at ghosting he don't have that speed factor so runners are able to get parallel with him and scoot and get upfield so if he's able to get downhill and stop you that's a good thing but far as stopping the run and uh, slowing the guy down before he captured the edge sometimes can be a problem, especially against faster running backs. So you would want him to penetrate and go down right here and squeeze off. At least if he's not faster than this guy, at least cut him off a little bit better. But he didn't. And the guy captured that edge there and he's able to get around for more yards. Those are things that really show up on the scouting report as well as on under this film that I'm showing you guys here. Nevertheless, he's able to create pressure to get the quarterback off his marker. And he's not shy of creating pressure as far as that. One play, I'll show you guys some love on him. Then the next play, I'll show you where he dance and have the long conversation. Too long or too, too much with the actual opposition. He got to stay lower. He got to come up with his combinations of disengagements. And he just can't stand upright. And, of course, it was a horrible play. But he was at least, at least he was walking the opposition back. Now, in a pinch... You will see him creating pressure in these factors. Shooting and getting upfield. One read. I like him better in that type of scenario. Shoot through the gap. Get upfield. Make the quarterback his baby. I think that Ghoston as a rotational piece. A guy that can help out and run support. In a pinch if you need him for blitzing scenarios. You got you a guy. Ghoston will help out in those departments. Look. If you think about this in other terms, he got strong hands, long length. He plays well against the run. Uh, on top of that, he's rangy. He's six foot four, 269 pounds. If you look at our edge rusher, like, let's say like a D-Law, he's only what, 6'3", 252. So now what the Cowboys are doing, they want to get somebody that's bigger, maybe faster, 
somebody that can play on the edge there. So when you have a rotational situation, you have your longer, lengthier guys that can create pressure or in a pinch that can be just better against the run. So I look at Ghoston as not a finished product. No, I look at him as a developmental piece, as a rotational guy that can come in and help this team out, especially against the run. Now, would you like to see him drop in coverage a little bit? Mm, although he got three interceptions in his career, as far as his collegiate career, that's good and all. But no, I want him to be a guy that can be a run stuffer, a guy that can help out. And, and trust me, if you got taller defensive edge guys or taller defensive guys in general on that front, it make it difficult for the quarterback to go through their progressions to find those passing lanes. And it also make it difficult for the running back to find those running lanes. So all of these things added into one. I believe that Ghostin was a great pickup for the Dallas Cowboys, at least to fit their particular scheme or system. So I can't wait to see how all of this panned out. Let's figure this thing out, Cowboy Nation. Post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns of chauncey ghosting that's been my time i really thank you all for yours and remember you're listening to nothing but the best go cowboys